the price of Bitcoin is incredibly volatile because it is such a young currency and market. Bitcoin prices can fluctuate significantly over a short period and this can make it difficult to predict its value accurately. Factors such as news events, market sentiment and regulatory changes can all impact the price of Bitcoin leading to sudden and significant price swings. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. Historically, April has been one of the strongest months for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, bringing the biggest average monthly returns. However, this year, that wasn't the case. Although Bitcoin topped over $30,400 on April 18th, reaching the highest level since early June, its monthly gain was only 3%, way down from 21% in March and much less than gains usually seen in the fourth month of the year. The monthly trading volume of the most expensive crypto also significantly dropped. Another risk associated with Bitcoin trading is the security of the exchange or wallet where the Bitcoin is stored. Cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets have been targeted by cyber criminals and investors have lost significant amounts of money as a result of hacks and thefts. According to data presented by BitcoinCasino.com, Bitcoin trading volume sank by almost $700 billion in April. A significant drop in Bitcoin trading volume after its price surge may show investors adapting to wait-and-see approach or moving their capital to other cryptos. According to CoinMarketCap data, Bitcoin's monthly trading volume amounted to $492.9 billion in April or 58% less than almost $1.2 trillion seen a month before. However, Bitcoin was the only digital coin whose monthly trading volume declined in April. In fact, statistics show all major cryptocurrencies saw a double-digit drop. Tether trading volumes was down by 38% month over month to $730.5 billion. Ethereum saw a 28% decline and around $230 billion in 30 days trading volume. USD coin, the fourth most trading digital coin in the crypto space last month, saw a 38% decline and $97.5 billion in monthly trading volume. Let's look into today's headlines. Meta blocks 1000 plus links tied to ChatGPT themed malware. Facebook's parent Meta has warned about an uptick in malware disguised as ChatGPT related software. The malicious activity prompted Meta to block over 1000 links to ChatGPT related malware on its servers, which also include Instagram and WhatsApp. Meta says it notified industry peers, researchers, and governments about the links too. Google to replace iconic lock icon in Chrome. Google will be replacing the lock icon in Chrome's address bar with a variant of the tune icon which is commonly used to indicate controls and settings. Google said that while the lock icon is meant to indicate that the network connection is a secure channel between the browser, but it's also a remnant of an era where HTTPS was uncommon. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister lays foundation stone for Rs 21,844 crores Vaisal Tech Park. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy has laid the foundation stone for Rs 21,844 crores Vaisal Tech Park. The park, which is being developed by Adani Group, will feature a 200 megawatt data center in Madhuravada and a 100 megawatt data center in Kupulupada. Adani Group's MD Rajesh Adani and Adani Ports CEO Karan Adani were present during the ceremony. After Paytm, PhonePay goes live with UPI Lite. Digital payments platform PhonePay has announced it has gone live with the UPI Lite feature on its app. The feature allows users to quickly intimate low-value payments under Rs 200 from their UPI Lite account without entering a PIN. UPI Lite on PhonePay is supported by all major banks and is accepted at all UPI merchants and QRs across the country. Indian government grants Pan India Unified Licenses to Zoom. Zoom Video Communications has received the Unified License with access Pan India National Long Distance and International Long Distance from the Department of Telecommunications, Government of India. 
With these licenses, the company will be able to offer Zoom Phone, its industry-leading cloud PBX service, to multinational corporations and businesses operating in India. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.